Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this lesson, we'll talk about solving absolute value equation. And an absolute value equation is an equation that contains absolute value, like in these four cases, but also the variable has to be within the absolute value, like in these four cases. What you really want to know, you have to keep in your mind there are two choices. One, when the absolute the quantity within the absolute value sign is positive, and the second one when the quantity within the absolute value sign is negative. So let's take a look to this example A and let's see what I meant. So first choice will be when this x minus 3 is positive. So we're gonna have x minus 3 equals 5, the positive quantity, like I said here. But we have a second choice when the same quantity, that one inside of the absolute value, will be negative, negative 5 in this case. So you have to write two equations. And now we're going to solve each one. These are simple one-step equation. I'm going to add 3 here to get rid of this minus 3. Don't forget to do the same thing on the other side. And we have the first solution of this absolute value equation, which is x equals 8. We're going to do very similar steps for the second one. We're going to add 3. And I'm sorry, this one is negative 5 here, like I said before. Uh, but we're going to add 3. And we end up with x equals negative 2. You want to check this solution. In this case, I don't think it's too complicated to check them mentally. You can plug them in this equation and see if it works. Um, if I take the first one, 8, 8 minus 3 is 5, absolute value of 5, it's 5, and the same you can do for the second one, and you it does work. Let's go to the um, example B, very similar. We're going to say the quantity 2x minus 1 can be positive 7, and the quantity 2x minus 1 can be negative 7. These two choices, right? And now let's solve each equation. This is a, a multi-step equation. We add 1 to get rid of this minus 1. So we have 2x equals 8 and divide by 2 and we end up with x equals 4. You can check mentally this solution. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 1 is 7. Absolute value of 7 is 7. So it's a good solution. The same for the second one. We're going to move and add 1 on both sides. And we have 2x equals negative 6. And divide by 2, and we end up with x equals negative 3. Let's check this solution. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Minus 1 is negative 7. Absolute value of negative 7 is 7. So uh, both solution works. And the second part of this lesson, I want to see absolute value equation where the absolute value is not isolated. Like in this case, you notice we have more stuff right here on the left side. We have 3 times absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1 equals 8. And the first step you want to do is to isolate the absolute value expression. So in this case, I'm going to add 1 on both sides, obviously, because I want to get rid of this minus 1. And I have 3 times absolute value of x plus 2 equals 8 plus 1 is 9. And again, this is 3 times the absolute value. I'm going to undo this operation by dividing by 3 to get rid of this 3. And I have absolute value of x plus 2 equals 3. And don't forget two equations. The first one, x plus 2 equals 3. And the second one, x plus 2 equals negative 3, the positive and the negative value uh, on the right side in this case of the equation. So let's solve the first one. We're going to subtract 2 and we have x equals 1. Again, you may want to go back and check it in the original equation. 1 plus 2 is 3. Absolute value of 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. So that works fine. If you need to put it down, put it down on the paper. 
Let's move to the second equation. I'm going to subtract 2 to get rid of this plus 2, and I have x equals negative 5. The same story, I'm going to try to check it by plugging in. Uh, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Times 3 is 9, and 9 minus 1 is 8. So it does work. We check this solution. Okay. And the last part of this lesson, we're going to take a look to this type of equation. It's still an absolute value equation, but you notice we have uh, x's on both sides. And how are we going to handle this one? We're going to write two equations. The first one is going to be 3x plus 2 equals 4x plus 5, the positive quantity, right, which is, I will say, 4x plus 5. And the second equation, very similar, will be 3x plus 2 equals negative 4x plus 5. So you notice the same concept of using the positive quantity value and the negative quantity. And now we're going to solve each equation. And the first one, I will subtract 3x. I think is the easiest way, it's, but it's not the only way. And we end up here with 2 equals x plus 5. And the last step, divide by negative 5. Divide, subtract negative 5, I meant. And we have x equals negative 3. Let's take this uh, solution and plug it in this equation, and we're going to end up with absolute value of 3 times negative 3 plus 2. Is that equal? That's the reason I'm going to put a question mark here. 4 times negative 3 plus 5. And if you take a look just to the right side, this one I just finished, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 5. That is going to be a negative number, and this is an absolute value. So for some time you can do that, and Right away, you notice this is a fake solution, extraneous solution, how we call it. But let's say you don't see it. We're going to keep simplifying here. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus 2. Here we have 4 times negative 3. That is negative 12 plus 5. On the left side, and again, I'm going to put a question mark. Negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Don't forget the absolute value. So absolute value of negative 7 is that equal with negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7. And now the last step, absolute value of negative 7 is 7, and that is not equal to negative 7. So in this moment, we know this one is not a good solution, is what we call an extraneous. Now let's take a look to the second equation. Don't forget we have a second one that we want to solve it. And the first thing I will suggest here to do is to distribute the negative sign. So we have negative 4x minus 5. And here I will personally add 4x. It's not the only way. I add 4x to get rid of the minus 4x. 3x plus 4x, 7x plus 2 equals negative 5. And then I'm going to subtract negative 2. And I have 7x equals negative 7, and the last step, divide by 7, I end up with x equals negative 1. And again, let's check the solution. We're going to go back in this equation and plug it in. Absolute value of 3 times negative 1 plus 2 equals 4 times negative 1 plus 5. So if we try to do the same thing like in the previous step where we check uh, negative 3, you notice this side will be a positive number, so we really have to uh, move to the next step. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, plus 2, don't forget the absolute value, and on the right side, 4 times negative 1, negative 4, plus 5. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, now we have the absolute value, is that equal? Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. An absolute value of negative 1 is 1, which is equal to 1. So this is a true statement. We were able to check this solution and it was a true statement. So this is a good solution. Okay, This one is extraneous, but this one is a good solution. And that's it. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.